What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy Sherries and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make money using finance loan. Now before you even say now she wants us to apply for loan, listen to me. This is how the strategy works. What you do, you apply for a loan, you need a collateral. So a collateral is something like sort of some security that you will pay back the loan. So I use my BNB as a collateral and then I apply for a higher amount and then I buy whatever crypto I want to buy. Say for example, now BNB is around 5,100. So I will apply for a loan and then go buy BNB while it's low and then when it goes high and it can happen anytime, even this evening or even tomorrow or even Monday, then I will repay the loan and take the profits so without wasting time let's go to my laptop so i can show you how i make this money borrow you need to put a collateral in a, a certain amount of collateral, of collateral so for example if i borrow a thousand rent then i'll have to put in a collateral of two thousand rent so i already have bnb to the value over two thousand so i'll be using that as a collateral but there, there is a danger if the if they if these coins continue to drop to a point where even your collateral it's low then you lose your collateral so that's the risk that you need to monitor and make sure that you pay the amount before the collateral value is actually high so let's just go ahead and borrow so you basically go to finance and then you go to crypto loans and then you can borrow only stable coins so stable coins are your um, Tenta, another stable coin is USDC coin, and then uh, BNB Finance uses um, BUSD, which is another stable coin. Let me just find it. This one. So, how do you know? How do you um, find a stable coin? So, usually you would see it with a graph that is uh, like this. Can you see? It's like this. It's not like um, shaped down or shaped up. It's usually like this, like this one as well. It's also a stable coin. And then you will see as well, 10 tights also a stable coin. So you, if you were to scroll here, you see something like this as well. DAI is also a stable coin. So what it means is that the coin doesn't go up. It behaves like a, a USD, like a dollar. So that's why you see the price is 14.79 and then it will go to 15, but it will never be high, like maybe $7. And then let's see another one. So 14.79 as well, BUSD. And then the same thing with um, USDC co USD's coin, 1478. So that's why we take our profits and put it under stable coins so that we do not lose that money. So let's just go ahead and borrow money so that you can see how to borrow money and then how to pay it back. So I'll be monitoring this very close to make sure that I don't lose my collateral. So you go to keep crypto loan and then you come here and then the minimum amount you can borrow is 100 BUSD. So it's basically around 1,004 if you were to convert that to rent. But then can you see that the collateral amount already or BNP? So what the, it will do, it will take my BNP that I currently have and use that as a collateral. So this value is around 2.3. And then uh, if you want to check, you can just go to Google and type BNP to rent. And then you will see how much this coin is actually worth. So let's just see. It's I think it's 0 0.426. If I'm not mistaken, let's just see 0 0.42369. It's 42369. And then you will see that it's around 2272. So that's the money that my collateral it will be taken from me. But I need to keep monitoring this very close so that I don't lose my collateral. Because if these uh, crypto keep dropping, then I will lose my value so let's just look at the initial loan to value ratio so you can just go here and see the description ltv is the value of your loan to the value of your collateral so the value of my loan it is around 1000 something 1004 and the value of my collateral it is 2000 something so one what happens when my ltv is too high if your ltv is higher than the margin call ltv we will inform you to add more collateral or to repay your loan. So rather repay the loan instead of um, losing your collateral because you will lose your collateral if you don't repay the loan. So that's why I'm saying I will go in, I, I am going to monitor this closely. You can also adjust your collateral by just adding more money so that you don't lose your value. So that's the risk and danger that you need to check. So now let's see. How much money am I going to be charged? So the reason I like um, using um, 
Binance loan is because the amount that you get as an interest, it's very cheap. So let's just go there so that you can see how much money is, um, is my interest. So when you go to Google and you see that even the interest that they're going to charge me, it's actually foreign. So I am borrowing over 100, uh, I mean, over 100 dollars. So let's just check how much. I'm borrowing. So I am borrowing 1,476 and I'll only pay for rent for seven days. So you can just select. So I'm selecting for seven days. I'll be monitoring. You can choose 14 days, but then if you choose 14 days, this amount actually goes up. Can you see? Now it's 0 0.2, but now when you go to 14 days, it's 0 0.56, which is a bit more. So I'll start borrowing. It can happen, but then, and then you, it can happen, but then I choose seven days so that I can monitor up close. So you confirm, and then when you confirm, the loan should be in your in your BN, in your BUSD. So you go to wallet, but then it sometimes takes a bit of time because it's like you actually applying for a loan, and then the money should be in your BNB, in your BUSD, because that's what we bought, we borrowed. So let's just go there and see if it is cleared now. And then if it's not cleared, we'll wait a bit until the money is cleared. Okay, so can you see that the loan it is now in my um, crypto account? So can you see now that I have more? And they did take that 2000 rent for my BNB. As you can see, my BNB now has less amount. Let's go back. So you can see I'm left with 2,416. So now that I have BUSD, I have to go and check what is it that I want to buy that will grow. So I go back and check out of these coins, what is it that is still cheap that I can buy? So as you can see this one is 43, 490, and this one is 42, 5. So I'll have to go and check which one I want to buy. So with me, I want to buy Binance coin because it's around 5,348. And I think I also want to buy Ethereum. So let's just go back and see. I want to buy BNB. Uh, but then if I buy BNB, then I won't be able to monitor how much money I had and how much money I'll be making. So I need to decide what coin to buy. So let's just see. Uh, I have 416 now, so please note that. So I'll buy BNB. So let's just go and convert to BUSD and click convert. And then now I'm, I'm buying that coin. I'm converting to that coin. So I'll select BUSD. And then how, many, how much BUSD? So I'll say 50. What do I want to buy? I want to buy BNB. And please do note that um, it was... 416, that's what was left there. So I'll convert. Now I have this one. I'll go back when it's successful. And now I'm left with 50 BUSD. I'll do the same thing and buy Ethereum. But before buying, I think I want to check how much Ethereum do I have now so that we can know that we made a profit or didn't make a profit. And then let's just go back there. And then I, at the moment, I have 1,716. So we will know that we made profits if it goes up. So let's just go and do the same thing. We want to convert BUSD. Convert. And then we're converting 50 again. To what? To Ethereum. So let's preview the conversion. Okay, I need to change this to B, yes, D, it was on 10 time. So let's preview the conversion. Now we convert. So the only thing that is left now is for me to monitor this. So now the time is um, 12.27. Uh, September 22. So I'll be monitoring this every day. So when the coin does go up, so what I'll do, I'll convert whatever I've used into BUSD and pay the loan and then get my money. But then I need to constantly make sure that I do not lose my collateral by monitoring this up close and personal. So let's just leave it at that for now. So this is what I have now. So just to make sure that we 
we do know. So we're monitoring two coins, which is BNB. BNB now I have 975. Remember I've added that 500 rent on top of that 400. Uh, actually, no, I have 1,000. 151. Remember, I had 400 and something, and now I've added 50 as well. And on Ethereum, I have two 2,450. So let's just um, take a photo of this so that we can monitor it. Let's do a print a screen, a screenshot. Then I'll put this in a in a Word document. Um, I mean, in a folder so that we can monitor this together. So this is what we are monitoring. Okay, guys, so this is the following day and the time is 9.16. So when we look at this uh, presentation, I actually went and did a screenshot of CoinGecko before the coin, uh, the price of the coin were for Ethereum, it used to be 43,000, but today it is now 46,000. And then with Binance Coin, because do remember that we've invested in Binance as well, um, 5,348, but now it's 5,633. So if you were to do the differences between this one and this one, here it was low and now it is gone. So I am ready to withdraw and also pay off the loan that I took and then the profit will be what I make. So when you look at BNB as well, yesterday, this is what we had before buying, uh, actually before applying for the loan. This is what we had, uh, which is 0 0.501. But do remember, we used some of the money, which was around 2,200 as a collateral, which we'll get back when we pay off the loan. So we were left with around 400 and something. And then let's just go to Ethereum. This is what we have. Uh, we had yesterday. And this is the amount of money that we had in the account. But then now today, um, when I checked um, with Ethereum, we now have more, actually more was added into our Ethereum and now we have 2,452. So what I'm trying to say, you cannot check this value because remember the value will go up, but then what you need to check is the units. The units have been added. It used to be 0 0.039, but now it's 0 0.056. So which means it has grown. So with uh, BNB, because this one, we took out uh, 2,200 rent as a collateral. So now it won't show this value. So let me just go to, to my uh, account, uh, BNB account so that you can see uh, what I have now there. Even the portfolio, you can see now it's out sitting around um, 12,854 of which yesterday it was sitting around 11,000. So meaning the cryptos are growing. So let's just go to the BNB so that you can see what I have now. This is what I showed you in that um, screenshots that I did. Then you will see how much money I have now on these accounts, especially for BNB and Ethereum, because that's what we are chasing. So this is what I showed you. We are sitting on 2,606 and 2007 and BNB, we're sitting at 1,211. Remember, after putting the collateral amount, we are left with 400 and something. And now we use that thousand rent to spend around $50 to buy BNB and $50 to buy Ethereum. So let's just go to the loan. Um, so we can't exactly uh, take the loan. Uh, we can't exactly go to the loan and say repay. We have to convert the money to go to BNB. But then let me just show you the loan so that you can see that I still have the loan and it didn't um, get liquidated. So because the crypto went up and I kept checking this value because once it gets to 83%, then my, uh, my, my collateral amount was going to be lost. So you go to ongoing orders, and then this is what I have. So I'm still around 62% LTV. So if I want to repay, I'll have to repay this amount, which is um, around 100 uh, BSD, BUSD, 0 0.03666. So we need to repay this amount. And then if you want to see the difference, you just minus uh, 100 USD and then you'll get the 0 point of which yesterday we did a calculation. It was around for a rand or eight rand. 
if we go for um, 30 days, but since I selected seven days, it was around for rent. So let's just go back and convert so you can see how I do the conversion and then we can pay back the loan. So let's go back there so that you can see. So this is fun, especially when you start making, because even if I make 300, 400 or 500 rand, this is just in 24 hours. It's not even 24 hours because I did this yesterday in the afternoon and now I am already paying off this loan. So, and I didn't need to pop up any money to increase my Ethereum, but now it, is, it, has, it has been increased. So we go to BNB because I'm going to pay US, um, I'm going to pay using um, US, um, BUSD. So I'll convert my BNB. Remember, we're still going to get our collateral money, which is a hold as a collateral. So I'll go to BNB. Then I'll just say convert max to what? To BUSD because we want to pay off the loan. And then you will preview. So if you have more um, uh, BNB, just make sure you only convert what you need to convert. So uh, since I was talking, so let's just go and refresh this code. And then it says we will receive 82 and we do need 100. So, so let's go back, which is not enough to pay off the loan. So let's go back and see how much we have now. So we do have 82 BUSD, which is not enough because we do need 100. So I'll have to convert some. Uh, I'm not going to take Ethereum to convert. I'll take something else to convert. Um, so let's just look at other coins, which I can quickly replace if there's a need. I've decided, let me just take the polka dot because it's already sitting at 484 and leave my item and then let's go convert. Polka, I just don't want to, to take my Ethereum because then it will require me to calculate more. And then I'll take max of this and convert to BUSD and preview conversion and then convert, which is more than enough of what we want in order to pay off our loan. So let's just go back again and see if we have enough money to pay our loan. So I think we should have more than 100 uh, BUSD. So when we go there, you see we have 114. Um, I don't know why I refreshed. We have 114. So we have enough money to pay off our loan. Remember, I didn't use my money. I didn't pay or use my credit card to do this. So now I have 114. So let's, go, let's just go back to the loan and pay. So we are now on the loan. And then we click on going orders. And then we click repay. And remember, we're only going to pay what we need to replay, which is um, if I click max, so which is what which is what I owe. So I will confirm a repayment. So it is completed. I now no longer have any ongoing orders. So I just have to wait a bit for my collateral money, which I uh, I use as a collateral to come back in my BNB. So let's just go back. Sometimes it doesn't happen immediately. I have to wait a bit for that to happen. Sometimes it have even, I think it takes some time. Okay, so it happened immediately. So now when we go back, you can see that I still have my Ethereum, which is high, and I have my BNB, which is also high. Okay, guys, now that we paid the loan and we no longer owe and we no longer worried about uh, losing our collateral, so let's just go and look at how much money did I make from this process. Remember, I bought yesterday and now um, I just finished paying. So just to remember what time, the time that I bought, uh, let me just uh, check the time. Okay, so yesterday I bought around 12.29. 
So today, before 12.29, uh, I already paid off the loan. So let's just look at the profits. So yesterday, before we bought um, Ethereum, uh, we had a 0 0.039. 66825 but now we have 0 0.0567 meaning we have grown our ethereum and we don't look at this value because this value obviously fluctuates and i will have more because do you remember yesterday i had um around 1000 some 1700 but now i have 2615 so we don't look at this number we look at this the units that have gone up because the more we increase that eventually we'll get to one ethereum but this value can be maybe around uh, 60,000, maybe in a few months time. So we look at this value. So how much money did we make as a profit on Ethereum? So when you go to uh, my uh, notepad here, where I made the difference, let me just take you there so that you can see. Uh, I had 0 0.0396825. I had 1,828. But today um, I have 0 0.056719.60. But today I have 2,607. So you do see that we did make uh, around 700. Let me do the calculator 780 for rent, which is just um, profit. Because remember here, I didn't use this as a collateral. This was exactly the same one. So this is how I make profits. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you do understand how this whole thing works. And I hope you will try it and make sure that you increase your crypto in order to take the profit. And this is something that I use their loan and also I repaid their loan. So I didn't lose any money. And my portfolio as well has gone back to 13795 And I just have to keep doing this until my portfolio will go up and up. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. What's up you guys welcome to my channel my name is Lindy Sherry and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make money using finance loan now before you even say now she wants us to apply for loan listen to me this is how the strategy works what you do you apply for a loan you need a collateral so a collateral is something like sort of some security that you will pay back the loan so I use my BNB as a collateral and then I apply for a higher amount and then I buy whatever crypto I want to buy say for example now BNB is around 5100 so I will apply for a loan and then go buy BNB while it's low and then when it goes high and it can happen anytime even this evening or even tomorrow or even Monday then I will repay the loan and take the profits so without wasting time let's go to my laptop so i can show you how i make this money